Hello, all my merrymakers, and welcome to What You're Working On Wednesday. I am Becca. To everybody who's coming back, thank you so much. A little bit of a different venue, uh, vantage point because I'm using my phone because of the microphone um, setup, the way it works. Uh, it does not plug into my iPad, which I usually use to record. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way if I can get an extension for it or whatever. That being said, to anybody new, thanks for checking me out. What you're working on Wednesday is my weekly works in progress video. Uh, me showing you what I've worked on. Uh, me telling you what I plan to work on. And anything going on in my life right now. I, it is 8 o'clock on Wednesday morning, and I'm already tired. Uh, yesterday afternoon, got a phone call from the school, and basically my son said some things not acceptable, and uh, he was almost suspended. That was not fun. Um, not going to get into it because that's my own personal business. Um, but it did basically upset my whole day yesterday, my whole afternoon. And um, by the time it got to be 8 p.m. last night, I was wiped and therefore did not record. But the good news is because I didn't record last night, I actually found some things that I have been looking for. Um, so that's cool. First stuff is, I think I mentioned this hat last week, and I actually now found it. Um, it is a very simple, I don't even know if you can call it a pattern. Basically, you chain, you start off with a chain, and um, you make it so that it's about nine inches long. And then you do half double crochets up until like a half inch. No, not a half inch, an inch, which usually is anywhere from four to six stitches. And then in those stitches, you single crochet. And then once you're, you've got it 20 inches, this is worked flat. You cinch it up on the top and it makes a nice little beanie. There you go. Oh, and the hair. Okay, um, let's talk about the hair for a second. Because I did promise that I would tell you why my hair got cut. This also happens to <laughs> deal with my son. Uh, reoccurring theme here. Um, so Thursday, my son had an appointment with the orthopedian. And while we were waiting, um, he had been scratching his head a lot. He's not really great when it comes to cleaning himself. Oh, that's one of the things about being autistic. Sometimes it's hard to clean yourself. Anyway, I just happened to look when he did it and saw that he had lice. Um, so, of course, informed the school. They then came back and informed me that my daughter also had lice. And then, of course, that meant that I also had lice. So we all got haircuts. I call them COVID cuts because I am not a hairstylist. Um, somehow my daughter's hair actually turned out looking really cute. Mine did not. I'm hoping to get it fixed soon. Um, we'll see how soon that is. <laughs> um, another project that I started because, you know, I have cast on itis is a shawl. This is. I don't know what yarn this is. This is um, yarn. The orange yarn is actually yarn that I've had in my stash for quite a long time. And I thought I had the label with it, but I do not. Um, and then the gray black yarn or variegated yarn, because the orange yarn is a tonal, um, is actually some yarn I bought a while ago from Smart. And um, 
I'm debating on what to call this shawl. Um, basically taking the basic principle of the eyelet shawl, but instead of doing eyelets the whole time, well, uh, when I get to the eyelet row, uh, I've actually made a, I have an app called Tiny Decisions, and I've put different stitches into that, and I can, uh, I'm going to, when I get to the eyelet row, spin the wheel and figure out which, uh, stitch I am going to use. So I'm torn between calling this campfire because between the dark gray and black kind of meeting with the orange, it kind of makes me think of charcoal and tiny decisions. So would like to wait, have you guys weigh in on that. The other thing that I've been working on, like I tell you, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, is I have been making granny squares. These are approximately 12 inches. Um, the granny square is actually a, uh, from a tutorial by, I want to say creative grandma called cozy cardigan. Uh, for her tutorial, it's just one square, and then you just continue in the granny square fashion to make a cardigan. For mine, I am making the smaller squares, and then I'm going to join them to make a pullover instead of a cardigan. I've got one, two, three, four, five squares, and I need at least eight just to make the body part. Um, if you're curious about what yarn this is, the variegated is Red Heart Black Light, and then the Neon Stripes is Red Heart Stripes in, I think it's called Neon Stripes. Oh, where is it? It is way over there. I'm not going to get it. Um, for those who ha have not seen, I did finish the Oolong Tea Shawl. Um, I am very happy that it's finally finished. Um, I do have leftover yarn from that. Um, it is two skeins of the ice yarn that I bought to complete that. Um... If you want them, guess what you have to do? Comment. That's right. Sneaky giveaway. Um, so the colors in that yarn are mostly blues and teals. So I'm going to say the secret word is teal. Um, standard YouTube apply. Um, I am going to have to limit this to U.S. only just because shipping internationally is very expensive. Um, this is, you know, no way sponsored. It's all me. Have to be 18 years or older. Uh, I will draw a winner next week. And then last but not least, uh, I have... What looks like just a strip. But it's actually the couch from this book, which we're going to take a closer look at this book now. So here is the book that that couch is in. And you can see on the front here how it has three of the dolls on it. Um, so it's actually going to be a quite big couch, and let me flip to the actual page where the pattern starts. So this is what it's supposed to look like once you're done. And I'm trying not to show too much information because of copyright. Uh, it is an intermediate scale level, and it says that when it's finished, 
it will be 12 inches long. So this is going to be one big mama jama of a couch. Um, I am not using the yarn they suggested. And I am definitely not using the hook they suggest. Look at that. Um, they are suggesting a size 2.75 millimeter crochet hook. It's so tiny for worsted weight yarn. No. <laughs> And that's everything for this week. I know it was a lot. Oh, no, I misspoke. I almost forgot. Also, because of yesterday being so emotional, I started to work on a new project that uses mandala yarn. Uh, it, it The pattern is Briar Rose by Hooked on Sunshine literally just started yesterday so i think this is row two and um i will be posting the opening of this yarn later on this week all right my merry makers now we're done i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like feel free to comment down below if you're not subscribed yet please consider subscribing if you really like my videos please share them out and in the meantime, make what makes you merry. Ciao.